Alright, it's taken a bit to finish this, but hello everyone and welcome back to Sonic Heroes. Last time we went through Team Chaotix with uh, Nick and S Scrappy. And now we're finally, finally finishing this game with Last Story. And like I said at the end of Chaotix, this is just going to be me this time because i got to just, just got to finish it. Uh, let my final thoughts go through and uh, just, yeah, let's just do this. Just... It just feels right to just end it by myself because I start I started it alone. Gotta end it alone, and also <laughs> if we had like all the guests here, this would be a complete mess. My happen for Shadow though, because I don't care enough. <laughs> but I'll talk about that later. So yeah, if you weren't paying attention, because I I didn't really bring this up like, at all during the playthrough, but, yeah, Metal Sonic has been the real bad guy all along. He's been copying everyone's abilities, um, and, yeah. <laughs> I, I do kind of like that they brought him back, though, because, um, he's, um, I think he's a really cool villain, one of, um, Sonic's, like, most, um, Deadly enemies, I, I, I guess you could say, cause like, man, and also just really long <laughs> transformation sequence because, yeah, it's just, it, it's also like really, like, they zoom the camera in a bit too much. I feel like it's hard to see what's going on after time. But what are you gonna do? I kind of like it though because kind of like this because because it, it's basically um, and his design is more or less an amalgamation of perfect chaos and bio lizard in a sense. At least that's uh, what I get out of his design here, and. Like, in terms of just raw power, uh, it's kind of cool how, like, Metal, Metal Overlord is, like, the most, the, probably the most dangerous, like, final, final boss in the series at the, for, uh, by this point. Heck is going over a Amy's pupils. Yeah, the lion. And Shadow's just like, why am why am I here? So <laughs> basically how this works is um I think Cannon's core, except uh, instead of a uh, stage, it's a boss fight. So you basically just Go. You're just on these square platforms, uh, with each team with uh three of the four teams, and you just have to hit this little little um, hit me light, uh, and depending depending on what color it is, you have to hit him with a certain pow uh, certain formation. So, uh, it's um not really too complicated. Just, just like. Simon says, I guess, just hit, use the correct formation and then keep going at until eventually he changes, he, he changes the light to so switch your formation and then you just keep going until you get to the next team. <laughs> it's not really much, it, it's not really too complica complicated. It's probably still, it, it's probably one of the better bosses in the game though. Um, if a little bit, um, Annoying sometimes because he does have these ice missiles, uh, and if you get hit by them, um, you just get trapped in a giant ice block. And you can also just miss him completely, I guess. Um, and if, you, if all three characters get trapped, you just die. So it's ca it can be kind of annoying, especially since the hit radius is really 
wide. So, yeah. So I'll just do that. But yeah, thankfully when you die, you just get sent back to the last team you uh, were doing. And your timer just stays the same from when the section started too. So, um, it's not too bad actually. I want to try something. No. Okay, screw it. Just... I could just do the team blast glitch, but I try I'm going to try not to do that. But yeah, he's pretty much done here. It's not really that hard of a boss, but hey, Sonic Heroes uh, bosses aren't really difficult in general. The only one that can be annoying is Albatross, but even he's not that bad once you know what to do, really. It's just, uh, when, you, when you have the, when you're able to use flying, uh, like, you can just destroy this guy's health, but it's kind of funny. You really don't want to use speed, like, at all in these sections. Okay, this. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yep, phase one done. <laughs> yeah, it's not really that difficult, but... I don't know. I, I do enjoy this fight for what it is. It's probably one... Of, it's probably the best boss in the game now that I think about it. <laughs> Even though that's not saying a lot. I love this transformation though, uh, this supersonic transformation. One of my favorites in the series. Just the flashy effects and the music. Insert rage of uh, <laughs> Tails and Knuckles being in uh, gold orbs here, I guess. <laughs> I... Person personally, to be quite honest, I never really cared that much, but I can kind of understand the annoyance. Uh, but to be fair, like, until Sonic Mania, Tails could never get a super form from the Chaos Emeralds. He had to use the Super Emeralds to get that. So, that makes sense. Knuckles, eh... Doesn't make as like knuckles can go super, so I don't understand. I, I don't understand that, but whatever. So yeah, basically how this goes is um, each each uh, character has to uh, counter attack one of the uh, one of Metal Sonic's moves, um, and you just keep building up your team blast gauge because you can't hit him directly anymore. So it's um. It's not really, again, it's not really that hard. Uh, just build up the gauge, and again, if you use the time blo team blast glitch, this is a absolute, this is an absolute joke, but... But even still, though, I, I do enjoy this fight. I love the music, what I'm made of. It's a really good Crash 40 song, and... I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. I just really, I just really pl like playing this fight. It, it really pumps me up. Um, I like... I, I enjoy the rivalry with like Sonic and Metal Sonic, and uh, it's a more per it's more personal than like say Perfect Chaos or the Bio Lizard, and um, I just like the idea of like just like Metal, Metal Sonic is just like completely like lost it more or less at this point because he's, he's like oh no I'm the real Sonic, and just. But he's basically just gone, just 
gone completely ballistic with um trying to get a bunch of power at this point. And um I don't know, I just really like I just really enjoy this fight. It's it's a lot more personal. And um I need to save Knuckles. He's like gone somewhere else. This is bad. Oh, there you are. Man. But yeah, the, you, basic, you basically just um, have beefed up versions of the regular team. Uh... Like, uh, Sonic can do his uh, his light speed attack whenever he wants, but he co it costs rings. Uh, Knuck Knuckles can uh, like bring out fireballs endlessly, and um, the thunder shoot always has the light speed at light speed attack effect, and it can and it can al he can also just uh, set he can also send it really far too. But I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's not a difficult boss, but whatever. Yeah, this camera angle. For you, this camera angle changes like all the time. It's never consistent. Yay. So ending on 64, that's pretty good. Uh, but, but, yeah, I do, I do like that they made M Metal Sonic the final boss. And we wouldn't hear from Mel Sonic again, I think, because the one in forces is a fake. So, uh, yeah, I don't know actually, because generations time generations is time travels, so that doesn't count. Uh, I don't know, I don't know actually. Is this Mel Sonic's last appearance, like in the main series? Because I'm not, obviously like there's Sonic 4, but that's not that's meant to be before this game. So I yeah I don't know. I'd have to look back on that. But anyways, though, final thoughts on Sonic Heroes as a whole. I really actually I actually really like this game. Um, I think it, the team based gameplay is really enjoyable. I think it flows pretty well. Like uh, thinking what formation works is best suited for the current situation. I like. I don't know, it's like one of those things where I like think, having to think on my feet. There's a lot of cool speed tricks you can do, especially with the Rocket XL. Speeding up combat with things like uh, the fun, the fact that you can uh, control the Thunder Shoot. Uh, you can kind of control the Thunder Shoot by using the analog stick. Um, I... Th this is... This is what... Um, I really like the... I really like the soundtrack of this game. It's um, a bit, like I said before, it's a little bit better than SA1 and SA102 soundtrack overall, at least in my opinion. 
and uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of catchy catchy tunes in this. I like pretty much all the theme songs, um, and I don't know. It's a really well-rounded soundtrack, um, and again with the whole team-based gameplay, it's one of my favorite play styles in the series. Like, I I love how well I, I just love how well it flows. Um, the combat is um, probably the it's probably the the best suited uh, combat we've seen for Sonic, in my opinion, because it doesn't, for the most part, like besides like the helmet guys, the combat does re flow really well in this game. I think I find, and I don't know, like just, again, I just like thinking on my feet, uh, trying to make stuff like go go by faster by doing any kinds of speed tricks um and i i i kind of like and don't like the power the um the uh, level up system because I, I i like it because uh i like the feeling of getting stronger and all that but i don't like it when i die because you start at level zero and uh it makes you feel really naked but other than that other than that though i do enjoy the leveling system and again the main issue with this game is just the fact that you have to play the full game you have to play through the same stages four times like i really enjoy this game on just play just playing through team sonic or just one team in general but when you're trying to get through to final story like i like i had to do for this game or this lp rather it kind of falls apart because you're just doing the same things with minor differences each time, like less enemies, more enemies, longer or shorter stages, and Team Chaotix is the only one that uh, changes it up pr uh, decently enough that it feels fr it, it, it makes it feel fresh enough to war warrant another playthrough. But other than that, it ju it's just the same stuff again and again, and because of that, I can't really, I don't really replay this, the, like, this, the full package often. I, when I, when I replay this game, it's usually just for Team Sonic, um, and that's generally just good enough for me, like, it's a good, it's a, it takes a couple of hours, uh, decent amount of stages, uh, the bosses kind of suck, like, uh, I, I, I get a kick out of the, um, the, uh, the robot storm, or, like, the, um, Ro the robot moot crushes, uh, because I enjoy this combat for what it is. But even that, uh, isn't, like, the greatest. Um, like, the team fights speak for themselves, and the, um, actual Eggman, uh, machine fights, if you will. They aren't terrible, I guess, but they aren't, they, they leave a lot to be desired. And the boss, Mel, Mel Sonic, he's a fine final boss, he's not great, but he's, easily the best boss in the game for what what that's worth i guess um but yeah uh bosses aren't really this game's strong suit and i don't know man like, like again the when you're just doing one team this game's great i i uh re again i this is one of my favorite play styles in the series i really hope they come back to it at some point i uh, kind of losing hope but I don't know, we'll see what with the next game, and Team Sonic Racing is at least bringing back the team part, I suppose. So, there's that. Um, and, I mean, is there anything else I need to say? Uh, I don't know, man, like, I, I, I would have to rethink if I would rather play all of sa One story again over like doing all the teams again in this game um but i would i would definitely play sa2 like start to finish any day of the week um over over doing all all, all the teams in this game because even though i like team um the team ga uh, based gameplay more than pretty much all those play all the play styles in the adventure games i still I still would replay SA2 because you're not redoing the same stages. It, um, 
it doesn't feel like it, it it doesn't drag out when you're trying to get to the final story and it's more fleshed out as a complete package if you will like it it doesn't drag out do, it it doesn't keep repeating things like this game does and it's um it's more of an enjoyable game as a whole. Um, SA one, I'd have to, again. I'd have to, I have to think about think about that um, because I really enjoy Sonic's campaign in that game. But everything else, it's I I uh, I I need to replay SA one because I have like uh, as of recent years, um, it's uh, kind of gone down the ranks for me. If I'll be honest. Uh, I don't enjoy that game nearly as much as I used to, um, but eh, what are you going to do? I think that's going to be it though, so um, thanks for watching Sonic Heroes, and I don't know when I'm going to do this, but uh, coming down the line, next for Sonic will be Shadow the Hedgehog, and um, yeah, it's been a while since I played through that game, so hope you guys look forward to that, and uh, yeah, I've been Super Mario Sonic Lover, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough, and I'll see you guys in the in the future sometime for Shadow. Unfortunately, <laughs> so yeah, see you guys then. Peace.